An American in Paris is a 1951 movie that follows the story of an American artist named Jerry, played by Gene Kelly, living in Paris. Jerry falls in love with a French girl named Lise, but things get complicated when his friend Henry also falls for her. The movie is filled with catchy songs and impressive dance numbers, including the famous ballet sequence at the end. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about the movie that we'll uncover as we go along, so keep watching this video. Is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? When was the first time you watched this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. A classic film from 1951, this movie has made a lasting impression in the world of timeless cinema. Its impact can be credited to the enduring themes and captivating artistry that make it relevant even today. Directed by Vincent Minnelli, the movie showcases the talents of its creators. The film's significance lies in its innovative blending of music, dance, and storytelling, highlighting the skills of the lead actor and choreographer. The dynamic choreography, particularly in a famous ballet sequence, has stood the test of time, leaving a memorable impression in the history of musicals. More than just a cinematic masterpiece, this movie takes viewers on a journey exploring love, art, and self-discovery against the charming backdrop of post-war France. The timeless music by George Gershwin adds to the overall appeal, establishing a lasting connection with audiences. Beyond its initial release, the movie continues to inspire modern filmmakers and artists influencing the way musicals are created with a focus on seamlessly blending narrative and choreography. The ongoing popularity of this film demonstrates its ability to connect with audiences across different generations. In summary, this cinematic gem has endured, captivating audiences with its enchanting storytelling, memorable choreography, and timeless themes. Its impact continues to shape the world of musical cinema, ensuring its relevance for years to come. In the world of entertainment, there are stories that weave through generations connecting families and leaving lasting impressions. One such tale involves a family with a background deeply rooted in the arts. Back in the roaring 1920s, when Hollywood was just beginning to shine, there was a man named Gene Kelly. Now he might not be a household name, but his connection to the glittering world of entertainment is noteworthy. Gene's father worked as a road manager for Al Jolson, a big name in showbiz at the time. Fast forward to more recent times, and we find Leslie Karen, someone who's made her mark in both dance and acting. She's not just a star on the big screen, she's also shared her talents on television. What's fascinating is that Leslie's daughter, Jennifer Karen Hall, joined her on an episode of a popular show called The Love Boat. Together, they played a mother-daughter duo with a knack for tricking wealthy folks. It was a special moment seeing them act side by side, showcasing their talent and chemistry. This isn't just a story about famous names, it's about the connections and bonds that run through the world of entertainment. Leslie Karen's journey from the glitz of Hollywood to the warmth of television screens is a reminder of the power of storytelling to bridge generations and bring families together. So, next time you watch a classic movie or tune into a favorite TV show, remember the stories behind the scenes, the tales of families like the Karens and the Kellys leaving their own unique imprint on the world of entertainment. Gene Kelly, who graduated from the University of Pittsburgh with a degree in economics, starred in the 1951 movie An American in Paris. Leslie Karen, who later became president of the jury at the International Film Festival Berlin in 1989, also appeared in the film. She is one of 13 French actresses to have received an Academy Award nomination, alongside notable names such as Claudette Colbert, Simone Signoret, and Catherine Deneuve, among others. In the 1951 film An American in Paris, Greg McClure, a character actor prominent in the 1940s and 50s, portrayed a role. McClure later ventured into nightclub ownership, running the swing in Studio City, California during the 1960s and 70s. Transitioning from entertainment to activism, McClure became known for his peace advocacy efforts. Noel Neal recognized for her roles alongside Betty Hutton in four films, including Let's Face It, Here Come the Waves, The Stork Club, and The Greatest Show on Earth, shared the screen with McClure. Interestingly, Greg McClure was once considered to take over the iconic role of Tarzan in the film series, potentially succeeding Johnny Weissmuller. However, the role eventually went to Lex Barker. Back in 1951, a famous movie hit the big screens. It was directed by Vincent Minnelli and starred Gene Kelly, who was dear to Ray Bradbury, the author of Something Wicked This Way Comes. Another notable actor was Mina Falk, who had trained at Stella Adler Studio of Acting. The movie took viewers on a tour of Paris with 44 carefully designed sets. 
These sets were created by E. Preston Ames, who had first-hand experience studying in Paris. However, despite the efforts, Gene Kelly felt the sets didn't quite capture the real feel of Paris and seemed more like fake stages to him. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew worked hard to bring Paris to life on the Hollywood sets. Their dedication shines through in every scene, though Kelly's critique highlights the difficulties of replicating such a lively city in a studio. In the world of movies, there are those whose talent shines brightly, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Two such individuals whose work has influenced the film industry are Nina Fock and Bess Flowers. These actors showed great skill and dedication in their roles, making their mark on the history of cinema. Nina Fock and Bess Flowers were both part of Hollywood's golden era, appearing in many acclaimed films. They were known for their ability to bring characters to life on screen. Fosch graduated from drama school in the 1940s, while Flowers became a familiar face in numerous movies, including five that won Best Picture Awards. Their work continues to be celebrated today, reminding us of the power of storytelling in film. Fock and Flowers serve as inspirations for aspiring actors and movie lovers, showing that passion and commitment can make a lasting impact on the big screen. So, as we look back on the movies that shaped history, we honor the contributions of Nina Fock and Bess Flowers. Their stories remind us that the art of film transcends time and leaves a lasting impression on those who watch. Once upon a time, there was a talented dancer who had a big dream of making a special movie. He worked really hard, putting all his passion into every part of the process. With determination, he showed a famous film to important people to get support for his idea. The result? An amazing musical movie that people all over the world loved. Many say it's one of the best musical films ever made, and it keeps on delighting new generations. This shows how creative and talented he was, both in his dance moves and in telling stories through film. He had a special way of turning his dreams into reality, inspiring many others along the way. That's the story of a visionary artist showing us how dreams can come true and how one person's creativity can touch the hearts of many. In the early 1970s, Bob Foss initially considered Gene Kelly for a lead role in a musical film adaptation of the play Chicago. However, Foss eventually chose to pursue a stage musical instead. Throughout his career, Gene Kelly was deeply involved in the creative process of his projects. For instance, in Hello, Dolly, he dedicated a year to script development, casting, and working closely with choreographer Michael Kidd to refine the musical sequences and incorporate them seamlessly into the film. Kelly meticulously oversaw every aspect of production, from minute details to leading the crew on set. Nina Fox films in Italy saw her voice dubbed by several talented actresses, including Rosetta Calavetta, Lydia Simonski, Rina Morley, and Giovanna Scotto. Each brought their unique interpretation to her performances in films, such as My Name is Julia Ross and The Ten Commandments. 